Is there a New Year's song? Yeah, Old Lang Syne. Or Old Lang Syne. What? Should all acquaintance pump to me too. Acquaintance be forgotten. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Never brought to mind. I remember. I remember that. Uh, oh, yeah, and Willennium. We got to play some of that. Is that public domain? No, definitely not. <laughs> but we can get with it for a little bit. Uh, content may be inappropriate for some users. Is that cool? Yeah, it's definitely cool. Okay. Um, what's the name of the New Year's Eve song again? Willennium. <laughs> no, not Willennium. So, the first one. <laughs> Auld, A U L D. That's got to come up. That's got to be the first result when I just type in Auld, right? Yeah, it's probably. Auld the Lang Sing so, sign? Sign, yeah. All right, cool. There it is. <laughs> Is there like a fucking, is there a lo-fi mix we can listen to? It's got to be a lo-fi mix, right? That's pretty lo-fi. Uh, let's see, hold on. Computer, seeing old lane sign. Make computers sing? That's fucking dope. Damn. Absolutely. All right. Is this it? I mean, it says that it's it, but it doesn't really. I don't hear it. I don't know. Sometimes what they do is. Oh. This is it. All right, so we're gonna back this up. And then we're gonna pause it right there. And we'll use that as like the intro, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, thank you for tuning into the Natural Habitat Podcast. My name is Mikey Booya. My name's Awesome Ty. Computer's here. Smart plug is here. Free candies up in Canada. Do you it's think they have? Do you Eve. think they have New Year's in Canada, or do you think that they just have no no perception of time? Um, I think that they probably have New Year's, but it's like in October. It's like October fourteenth. Free candy, can you hear me, bud? Free candy. Free are candy. You celebrating New Year's. Free candy. Are you celebrating New Year's? Yeah, I don't know if you can hear us. Yeah. Well, he can hear us. We can't hear him. Shit. So it's good. But this is the New Year's Eve special. We're here. We're celebrating with you. It's a few days early. But we do have a surprise that will be interactive and uh, we'll, you know, you'll be able to enjoy that. 2023 has been an awful year for all of us and we're going to get rid of it in style. Yeah. We're going to banish it to the, to the, to hell. We're going to banish it to hell. That's pretty extreme. Uh, You know what? I recently, last night, just watched Hereditary for the first time. Have you seen Hereditary? I know of Hereditary. Okay. Yeah. Same. I've heard it referenced all over the place. Yeah. Creepy. Creepy A24 horror movie. A24. Yeah. It's one of their early ones. Mm -hmm. It's creepy. I always hear it's really good. I hear it referenced. We finally watched it. It is amazing. Amazing. It is great. Those are two different things. What, What is it? What does that have to do with New Year's? Uh. You said, <clears throat> what did you say? I said we're going to get rid of 2023 because it's been shit a to hell. piece of shit year. And then that reminded me of Hereditary because it has to do with like demons and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Hereditary was good. But we're going to take 2023, we're going to go over it with a fine tooth comb, and then we're going to banish it forever. We're never going to be talking about it or living it ever again. 2024 is where it's at, as you can tell by Ty's face. Your face, it says 2024 on it. Your hat also says 2024. Your, your hat says <coughs> happy happy birthday. Yeah, my hat says happy birthday. Is it like the world's birthday? It's the, the year's birthday, the, the year's Gregorian birth- okay, yeah. calendar. Yeah, that makes sense. Happy birthday to the Gregorian calendar because it's now another year old. And they kind of just didn't have, I went to Target, they didn't have New Year's stuff. So I just got party stuff and then you know happy birthday so we're trying our best here what to happen we're doing the thing. best we can all right um but we are dripped up and we're celebrating with you guys 
Uh, first off on the list, we want to uh, we want to talk. Let's get it out of the way. Resolutions. Now, <clears throat> we all know that resolutions are, you know, easy to fail. Are you losing the hat? I'm going to ditch the hat. Ditch Is that okay? <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Uh, you got a new cut, new haircut. Yeah, I got, got a new haircut. Okay, and you look very, it's like superhero-y with the mask. Okay. So I think maybe you should wear the mask more. With the hair, like these out in are public. actually glasses. These are these are my glasses for the week. Well, look. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they prescription? The, no, they're they're twenty twenty four glasses. They help me see what they help me see into the future. This next year that we're gonna have. Hold on. And you know what? I'm seeing big things for me. Are those actual futures? They're future. They're, they're twenty twenty four future seeing glasses. So if I ask you a question about twenty twenty four, would you be able to answer? Yes. It? Yes. Absolutely. Who is? Uh, is is his Cane's chicken? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I brought right? it right. Um, do the 49ers... Yes, they do. Indeed. And you see this for sure? Yeah, I can see through them because I'm wearing 2024 glasses. You are. Yeah, you you're stuck in 2023 vision I am. because yeah. you're. I mean, I have my eyeballs. But see these glasses? They say 2024, so I can see see what's going to happen next year. It is giving mask. It's it's not a mask. I'm just saying it's giving mask, on account of the thickness of the letters. These are these are glasses. All right, um, Ty's got his glasses, and uh, we what were we talking about? Resolutions. Resolutions, yeah. Yeah, resolutions. They suck. They fail. You know, people are bad at them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like we don't have any resolutions. I'm perfectly content with everything that I'm doing so mm-hmm. far. I'm doing well in life, but we figured that we might give you, uh, the viewers, some some resolutions that you can do, and some that perhaps you should avoid. Yeah. So, first off, you're gonna want to stay away from, uh, you know. I want to quit drinking. I want to quit smoking. I want to start dieting. Keep, I want to exercise. Keep doing all that shit because, I mean, those are some of the yeah. most frequently broken resolutions. And mm-hmm. chances are you're not going to live up to them. You're not. You're just going to fail. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do with those is wait until you hit some sort of wall to where you're forced to change and then, you know, deal with it then. But New Year's resolutions, you want to make them easy because the easier they are, I think the more likely it is that you'll complete them, which will give you a sense of self-worth, which is a snowball, you know, that, I mean, I don't mean to bring up Christmas things after Christmas, but it's like a snowball effect. And this becomes like a greater and greater thing. Like you are, uh, you are straight edge. Yeah. Pretty, currently. pretty straight edge. Pretty straight edge. Part. Yeah. And <clears throat> would you say that when you stopped doing one thing, it kind of gave you that push and momentum that you needed to like make other small changes in your life. Yeah, I would say that. So that's the same thing with resolutions. You start off small. It's like trading a paperclip to a car. Yep, yep. You know how people do that in YouTube videos 10 years ago? Yeah, I mean, you're just going to want to, I mean, or you could just go all in and you commit to every single change you can possibly think of and you just reinvent yourself. Oh, it's a numbers you game. Be- become a completely different person. It could be a numbers game where you have 50 resolutions and then statistically you'll keep like five of them. And that's four more than most people. Most people have one and they fail. Now, what are some resolutions you, you think that would be sufficient for? Uh, I would say first off, a good one that I will probably do myself. Stop eating duck. Yeah, yeah. Duck terrible for you. Yeah. It's fatty. Um it's it's inhumane. Mm-hmm. I mean, ducks are, are cool animals. They walk they waddle they're around. They're they not quack. they're no geese. You you see them you see them, you know, in the pond, you feed them bread mm-hmm. and then you, you want to eat them also? No, no, no. So you're gonna stop eating duck. It's, yeah, and it's, that's going to be simple because it's hard to get duck. Yeah, yeah. They don't have duck at most supermarkets. It's not like it's a regular part of the meat case. Yeah. So you can quit eating duck. You no, I know, one? I know. In China, duck's more prominent, and that you know uh, brings us to our next segment, which is big trouble in big China. Big trouble in big they're China. They're over there eating duck. Yeah, they're eating ducks. Which, as we just said, ducks are cute. They're cool. You feed them bread. They explode sometimes if you feed them the wrong thing. I think China, stop eating ducks. Stop. Stop. I mean, stop. They're, they're adorable, and um, 
if we if there are listeners in China, that might not be a good one for you to try because duck, it's I'm sure it's everywhere. Yeah, it's um, gonna be hard to stop eating duck. Another good one would be you don't don't play badminton. Yeah, you know the game badminton with a yeah. little stupid fucking game. Nobody likes that game. Like literally, when have you ever like impressed a girl by playing badminton? Yeah, or or you know won a badminton championship playing badminton? Yeah, if you do or, anything that involves something called a shuttlecock, that's perverted. Yeah, that's uh, it's not something you want to be involved in. When have you ever saved a, a human life playing badminton? Never. So I don't think that's ever happened to ever. No, no. To so anyone. you could be doing way better things with your your time and energy than playing badminton. So just stop playing badminton. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that you could do is uh, New Year's resolution could be split pea soup. Split pea soup. Yeah, either more of it or less of it or none of it. Maybe just less of it. I'm actually no cap uh, cooking some split pea soup in a slow cooker at my house right, right now. now. Right Are you spirit? currently I, cooking? I'm, I will send you a picture of the sp- split pea soup when I get home. Yeah. Ha- have you done this before? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is okay. a regular recipe of mine. So your resolution will probably be more split pea soup. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do it a little bit more often. Would be cool. Yep. Uh, and I think that that's something. That you could take pretty much anything and you could just change the ratio of it. So yeah. say if you say smoking, for example, if you smoke a uh, pack and a half a day, you're, you're puffing on them cools, the the um, Newports, the mm-hmm. whatever whatever it is you're smoking. So <laughs> they're you're, both you're menthols. Blasting you're cigs everyone's at, blasting at alarming menthols. rate. You're chain smoking <clears throat> cigs. You're 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 put you're lighting a new one with the the butt of an old one. Uh huh. You're going all in. And you've got uh, you've got a hole in your neck like that old '90s commercial. And you smoke through that. You smoke through the hole. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if say you're smoking thirty, you're blasting thirty cigs a day. You're just exploding cigs. Well, now you blast twenty eight cigs a day. You, you cut back. You, you cut, cut back. back. You're not going to completely quit cigs, although I did. But I have willpower. You just you just try like to smoke mm-hmm. two less, okay? And don't, a good hack. Don't with... try to don't try to do what I did. And a good hack with cigs is that you can chew them. So cigarette, it's chewing tobacco. And they taste horrible. Taste horrible. They so taste does chewing horrible. tobacco. You chew it, you put it in your lip, you do the same thing, but you're not smoking it's it. It's going to get in your teeth. I yeah. Mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a real nightmare, and that's going to inspire you to not do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be like, what, am, what is this? Why am I doing this to myself? Um. Do you got another one? Yeah, just stop being such a dickhead. There's probably a lot of people in your life that that are not so pleased to be around you sometimes. You know what I mean? Like everybody has that one person that they're they're making that person's life just miserable. Yep. Stop being such a fucking asshole. Whether it's to your your parents, to your your loved one, um, your you know your partner, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be, your boss, your coworkers, your friends. You know, just stop being a fucking dickhead. Mm-hmm. It's not that hard to be a, a decent person. Yeah, that's a that's a really good one. Just turn it around. And it's easy. That's easy. It's common decency, man. Like, mm-hmm. what's wrong with you? Um, we have we have these fucking we things. have these noisemakers. We forgot to do them. We for, should we do them now? Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to run it back. We're gonna have to redo the intro, and then we'll we'll splice it in. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got to get to the beginning of this. Do you remember where the beat kicked in? No. Fuck. This is Christmas. It's Christmas is over. Why does it keep playing Christmas shit? Just bear with us. And and sorry, sorry about that. We actually have a, a special musical performance by computer. In a little bit, so just stick around for that. We're we're getting everything in order right now. Yeah, stop. All right, leave us alone. Here we go. This is the thing, and then we pause it here. All right, ready? Yeah. Welcome to the Natural Habits Hat Podcast New Year's Eve special. It's an extra. Oh, God, these things. All right, stop, stop, stop. These things are horrible, dude. What the hell? I saw that on the... You blew that right in the microphone. I saw it on the yeah, thing? Yeah. Oh, man, that's going to be rough. That's going to be a rough listen. We don't have to listen to it. They do. Yeah, true. Um, but that's okay because it's a goof. It is a goof. It's a goof and a spoof. Mm-hmm. Um, so any more resolutions that we um, could suggest to these guys? 
Yeah, yeah, there probably are. Um, oh, listen to more episodes of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there's zero chances that you've listened to all 713 episodes. I highly doubt it. Mm-hmm. So we've got an enormous, enormous back catalog. What are you doing? Listen. Hop into it. Yeah. You know, like dig deep. Go back to the, the first 100 episodes and see how we evolved to this current state that we're in. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about getting, uh, printing out a bunch of business cards and mailing them out to the guys. And the girls, just Tay these, can hit us. Business cards out. Yeah, hit us with a PO box. We shoot them out, and they'll have like a holographic projector. That seems in them. very expensive. Well, no, on Vistaprint, it's like sixteen bucks for a hundred of them. Okay. And you can the back side will be an advertisement for Vistaprint, but the front side will be our business card, and then it'll have a hologram projector that will project like a video of us imploring these new people to come and listen to the podcast yep so we could probably record that now yeah and then we'll we'll have jerry splice that in hey you hey hey over here yeah come on so one of your friends probably gave you this card and you were wondering what it was well it's us it's our podcast it's the natural habitat podcast i'm awesome ty i'm mikey booyah this is computer smart plug and uh, Free Candy's in Canada. You can hear him, but he can't hear us. Uh, it's hard to explain, but you should probably listen. Yeah, we want you to subscribe on all platforms, and um, that's probably good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, anything I mean, else yeah. I think that they actually cut off after 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, so that's perfect. We'd be able to get something good out of there. Uh, so, yeah, any of those resolutions would be good for you guys. You can hit us up, and we'll send out those business cards to you. Um, there is going to be a payment for the business cards. This is going to be like a merch type thing that you're buying. Oh yeah, most definitely. We you're, have to get these. They're very expensive. I was joking about the shit. Yeah, so expensive thing. that that kind of technology is barely available. <laughs> yeah, it's like we have to go to some high level places to get those cards made. Um, so 2023, as previously stated, we're putting this year to rest. Year, right? It's been crazy. It's been like 2020. Two, as in 2020 part two. Yes, yeah. Uh, and a lot of crazy shit has gone down. Um, and I mean some of the some of the things that are standing out on this list: the Titanic wreck. You remember that? The Titanic wreck. Well, they you know remember that submarine. Uh-huh. That shitty submarine that was like controlled by a video game controller, not even like a, a PS controller, but like a Logitech controller. It killed all those people. I went there and there to try to find the Titanic. And, Did and that happen this they year? They perished, yeah. I was talking about it's the anniversary of the Titanic's crash. It was like the 23rd. When did the Titanic crash? Computer, when did the Titanic uh, do its thing? Computer, when did the Titanic crash sink? The Titanic was completed on April 2nd, 1912, and it sank on April 15th, 1912, after hitting an iceberg. If you'd like, I can tell you interesting history facts every morning. Would you like to enable this routine? No! No. No problem. Jesus. Um, so, yeah, the Titanic in uh, 1912, it was a... What would that be like the hundred and eleventh one 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 hundred and eleventh anniversary? Not here, I'm not here to do math, but <clears throat> well, it's the hundred and eleventh anniversary of the Titanic sinking. Um, also, I guess the submarine crash. Yeah, that fucking submarine, man. Or like, it popped. It, yeah, it, it imploded. It imploded. Yeah, <laughs> it, it just oblivion. Everybody got like uh, vaporized. Speaking of being vaporized, Tucker Carlson was vaporized from his position at Fox News because. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. He said he said something you can't say on on television. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, Tucker Carlson was one of those guys that was like a. I would see clips of him. I didn't really know a lot about him. I still don't. He's just like a right wing pundit that would yeah. say very very you know like, extreme shit. Yeah, kind of echo chamber for for some of the far right. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> he since being fired or whatever. He's like started his own, I guess, podcast. He's got his own show on Twitter. Okay, he's so exclusively he's got his own on show Twitter. On X. X. Oh, yeah. That's another thing that they fucking changed Twitter to X. <clears throat> yeah. What a dumb thing. They said it would never be done and he did it. I'm telling you, 2023 has just been a fucking stupid year. Mm-hmm. 
Not, I mean, name one good thing that's come out of this year. Uh, we have NPC creators, which is probably one of the most baffling things to me that I couldn't have called coming. And that's people on Twitch that uh, people will pay to send them emojis. And then they go, oh, ice cream, yum. Oh, ice cream, yum. Ride it like a cowboy. And they have like a thing that they do for each emoji. And it's like an NPC thing. Yeah, it's terrible. And they get paid bank for that. A lot. Those, those emojis cost money. And they get broken off a piece of all of that. A baby bison was euthanized after some asshole at Yellowstone, like, pet it or something. Yeah. A Yellowstone guest, like, came in contact with a baby bison. Look at this that picture. Had been expelled by its pack or its mother or whatever, and they fucking killed it. Look at this picture of this guy. He picked it up, and he was like, look at this. I yeah, got he, got that, he got that little baby bison killed. I'm Mike Bison. Uh, yeah, then they had to kill it. So that was... Uh, Pretty fucked up. 2023 is fucked up. Um, oh, yeah. Aliens are real. That they're was out, the thing. They're out here renaming birds. Birds that had perfectly sufficient names already. They're giving them new monikers. Like, what? what what's the point of that? Yeah, what is this? I Have you heard anything about this one? They're, they're changing the names of birds. Just like they're trying to change, you know, they're trying to cancel everything and everything's woke. They want the birds to be woke now. So they're changing the birds that are named after people? guess i don't know and what birds would that be it's like our what about these birds heritage you know like what about uh i don't see they should give me a fucking list of birds yeah this here. is really hard to read <laughs> uh so apparently there's birds that are named after people so yeah there is a wilson's wobbler wilson's and they wobbler. changed it to a yellow wobbler like what what about mr wilson yeah what about the Theodore um, Wilson? Is that a president? Maybe. Teddy Wilson? Yeah, Teddy Wilson found that bird fair and square. So it's like, why are you? who are you to take that from him after he exactly. dies? Exactly. It's just typical cancel culture. Um, there was a, uh, a Florida law enforcement agencies, the Kia, Kia Boys. Oh, yeah, the Kia Boys. Just, Kia Boys happened. Just hijacking all these Kias. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a thing. And then it went viral how to do it, how you could just... Yeah, you start the car it, yeah. with a USB cord, and then everybody freaked out. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, um, they found a lobster-like cr crustacean in the Chicago River, and guess what? It's not supposed to be there. What? But it's there. Where's it supposed to be? It's it's just not supposed to be in the Chicago River. All right. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah. Fucking these these artificial sweeteners like Equal and Stevia, they're giving people heart problems. So you yeah. think you're better off e using these fake sugars instead of pure sugar. And it turns out, no, no, you're way better just ingesting gross amounts of pure raw sugar cane than you are these, these knockoff yeah. sweeteners. That's why uh, Mexican Coke is the best. That's the way to go. It uses real sugar. And then uh, Pepsi with real sugar, I guess, would be the second best. Do you think it's true that they use real sugar? No, no. I don't think they have to. Uh, but yeah, aliens. The The government had this whole meeting in Congress, and some guy was like, yo, aliens are real. We recovered uh, non-human biologics from a crash site, and then that was like a real thing. Mm -hmm. And they had all these uh, videos and all this stuff, and then that kind of like, the year was so crazy. And we're all still recovering from 2020 that it just like kind of just got added to the desk, just to the pile. It's a piece of shit year all around. Yeah. So 2023, it's out of here. And go fuck yourself, 2023. Mm -hmm. It's on to 2024. Um, now, another thing that's exciting that you actually told me about was 2024, the layout of the year you know weeks and month wise line up with 1996 yeah yeah so that makes your 1996 <clears throat> calendars that you may have saved for god only knows why mm -hmm. that makes them useful again for this entire year so yeah it's time to break out your 1996 calendars maybe it's like a jtt calendar maybe it's um 
What was going on in 1996? It's uh, a way better year than 2023. Computer, what are some highlights from 1996? The super lightweight tank for the space shuttle was tested successfully in 1996 by Lockheed Martin Manned Space Systems. So maybe you got a Lockheed Martin calendar. <laughs> Computer, who won the Super Bowl in 1996? In Super Bowl 30 on January 28, 1996, the Cowboys beat the Steelers 27 to 17. Maybe you've got a, a Steelers Cowboys uh, calendar. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got like a WWF thing. Was the WWF still a thing in 96? Computer, who was the WWF champion in 1996? Drew McIntyre is the current WWE champion. No, he's not. Computer, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Computer, who is ch WWF champion in 1996? Drew McIntyre is the current... Computer, WWE. stop! Computer, who was the 1996 WWF world champion? From Autosport.com. Damon Hill, the 1996 world champion and winner of 22 Grand Prix races will retire from Formula One at the end of the 1999 season. You're fucking asshole, computer. I so think computer needs yeah, to update you, you for get the point. Your 1996 calendars are, yeah. are suddenly worthwhile. Yeah, and I mean, I think this will probably be a big uptick in resellers that are selling retro calendars. Mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking about making a... You know how I made the Days Till Halloween books? I can yeah. make a bunch of yeah. retro calendars with 1996 stuff. Sell them on Amazon, print to order. They're going to sell like hotcakes. Yeah. So now is the time. I should make it probably two weeks ago and start selling it. But 1996 lines up. And I feel like that was an important year for a lot of people. I don't 1996 why. was a good year for me. That was like, um, you know, I was just, just becoming like a teen. Yeah. Um, you know, I was living real good. Had a lot of friends. I was kind of like the, the popular kid. All right. In, in San Luis Obispo. And then I was forced to move up up here and just come start completely fresh in my life like was ruined in yeah. 1997 so okay. it was almost like a, a that peak, was the peak then, right there it was like the peak of my life mm -hmm. and then it's just been steadily downhill since then <laughs> yeah extending all the way into you know 2024 but you so, know what 2024 it lines up with 96 so i'm thinking that i'm i'm back on track and i'm going to be a popular kid yeah. again in the middle schools or and, you're about to peak and you're going to crash again that very well could be also. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you could be a popular kid in the middle schools also. That would be that yeah. would be cool. That would be pretty cool. You wear like a backwards hat. And actually all of the things that were cool when we were in high school are coming back around yeah, and being you got cool again. Baggy jeans. Jinko and... jeans. Yeah. Yep. Uh so 1996, I think, was a pivotal year for people. I was 10. And I remember I got a... I got a Super Nintendo with uh, Legend of Zelda at some point within that area. Not when I was 10 necessarily, but 8 at to some 12. Point you had a, you had a Super <laughs> 8 Nintendo. to 12. That's like the era that it reminds me of. You, yeah, you, you know, Super Nintendo is <laughs> cool. I got a Super Nintendo. Uh, I got to play Legend of Zelda. And that was like my first gaming system. And that was probably the peak of my life. And it's just been a steady downhill ever since. Yeah. Cause yeah, shortly after that we had to move and I was, I wasn't necessarily like the cool kid in my high school or my middle school or whatever, but it was fine. And then we had to move to here and then it was like totally different. Totally different. And it's been downhill ever since then. So uh, I feel like a lot of people saved their 1996 calendars. I know I did. I've got tons of them, actually. I had I had numerous 1996 calendars. Now, typically a person would only have one, maybe two calendars. But for whatever reason, I, I was kind of a 1996 calendar aficionado back when I was a child. So okay. I have just a surplus of these these. Um, calendars that plus you know you were living this big life you had a lot of friends and you probably had to have you had calendars in every room in the house yeah but see like the the thing is i, I wrote on them i wrote all of my activities and my notes on these calendars so they're pretty much you know that renders them worthless now so or you could try to do those same things you already the good thing is you already have your whole schedule for 2024 set 
Yeah, that's true. So you can go over to Jared's house and play a, play a Nintendo. School dance. Yeah, you can go to the school dance. You can have, uh, you know, countless birthday parties. Think about all the cake and stuff that you'll be able to go and get at these birthday parties. 2024 is going to be a badass year. And another thing is that all those birthday parties that are going to be marked on your calendar from 96, they'll all, that's, it's still their birthday. Yeah, yeah, birthdays don't So change. you could show up to that same party, knock, knock, you got a present. Yeah, well, you know, like, where's where's the... Oh, and here's a hack, New Year's resolution hack. Uh... This year, when you go to a birthday party, bring a present that is like intricately wrapped or maybe like a layered, like a Russian nesting doll of bags and boxes and make it to where it'll be inconvenient to open so they'll save it for last. And then you go there, you drop off your present on the present table, you eat some cake, you grab some... uh, cheese out of the pinata i'm picturing like a punch bowl with like punch rainbow bowl. sherbet ice cream in the punch yeah yeah you get some of that that's really good that's they good got stuff go-karts there they go-karts, have the, shit. they have the wall with the velcro suit and you jump yeah on the wall. yeah yeah they have I, I remember sumo that. wrestling suits fuck this is like a rich kid party they have a mcdonald's inside their house now, now you're just naming things <laughs> from the movie richie rich <laughs> okay yeah i might be uh, there were no. Some of those were from blank check, actually. Okay, uh, that also feels like a 1996 thing. So yeah, 1996. Yeah, uh, so you go, you experience all those things. You have a good time. You say, "Hey, I got to dip out early." Uh, so there was an emergency with a family member. Someone died. Yeah, and like they're probably not going to even mind that you leave because they honestly they didn't mm-hmm. invite you. You're, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm, yeah. You leave. Please, also, please. I forgot to leave out. You don't put a tag on your present, so they don't know who it's from. Which that happens a lot. They usually who got whose is this, and you go that's me. So you don't put a tag on the present. By the time they get to it, open it, unpack it all, find out that it's empty, you're long gone, and they don't know who it's from, and they're not going to think of you. They're not going to do a check marks for everybody at the party and who brought what. So you get all the cloud of showing up with a present, but none of the Yeah, you don't have none to of the hassle. you don't have to spend any of your money or like time picking yeah. out a present. Or effort thinking about someone and what they like. Yeah. You're you're basically crashing their party. Mm-hmm. Uh so that's a that's a good one for you. So twenty twenty three is done, nineteen ninety six calendars are back in yeah. a big way. Mm-hmm. Um one of the notes that you had in here was apologies. Yeah, I, th- I thought we could apologize for some of the things that, like, some of the people we may have wronged um, mm-hmm. throughout the course of the the year on the show. Okay. So I'm thinking like the the children's hospital, the children's hospital for sure. We, we <laughs> yeah. kind of harassed these poor nurses at this children's hospital. Yeah, some of them were cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's really the only one that comes to mind. Yeah, the children's hospital. Um. Who else did we do wrong or fuck with or talk shit about? Pro- oh yeah, that that psycho guy, that's um, the one that that was, says he's God. Oh, in my body like a body. Yeah, yeah, that that guy. We yeah, we, sorry, dude. Obviously, you have some sort of mental issues that yeah, you're dealing with. We tried to book him on a podcast, and then we just completely like mm-hmm. stood him up. And it kind of is probably more fucked up that he's not getting the help that he needs because the medical system's all yeah. Screwed and up and here. like we we were pretending to be taking him seriously, but really we were just gonna mock the guy and laugh at him. Mm-hmm. Uh, which was really a big reason why we called it off. I think in the end, we were like, this is just going to be like, if it was a, it was a low risk to reward ratio. Yeah. Because I feel like there was a way that we could have done it and we could have made it entertaining and funny, but funny enough to where we were being like disrespectful to this guy, that would have been tough. Yeah. So, I mean. We didn't want to roll the dice and we didn't want him to have your phone number, which he had. Yeah. Yeah. So if he got mad, he has the phone number. I feel like he probably would be able to do some sort of like. Uh, um, I've gotten into a probably at least two or three altercations with people in supermarkets this year. Yeah, you know, like shouting matches and just okay general general dismay with with other shoppers. 
and I want to apologize to them. They're they're probably watching. You know what? Like, yeah, I was in the right, and yeah, like I technically did nothing wrong, but I still didn't have to be, you know, quite as aggressive towards you as maybe I was. So I apologize for that. I lost my cool, but you know what? Like, you fucked up. You wronged me. So I mean, it's kind of a wash. Yeah, true. It's like you. They can't expect no reaction. Exactly. But maybe the uh, the reaction. Every could have been action a has an equal and opposite reaction. So mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah, maybe you got the, my fury, and he'll have no fury like an angered tie. But you know, you yeah. know, it's it's a half apology. Yeah, and you know, maybe you just could have done it in a more like subtle, backhanded type of way. Yeah. Yeah. That was like, oh, like, uh, you know, you can't really do anything about it type of thing. Those are fun. Those are the best ones. I don't take any of those back. I don't apologize. There's a lot of things that we don't apologize for, which would be, oh, I want to apologize for the the women episode where we talked about. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've said stuff. some sexist stuff on here. Like, we don't really mean that stuff. Should we run the disclaimer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a comedy podcast and does not reflect the actual opinions of anyone involved. It's a performance. That's why we smoke inside. You can't smoke inside unless it's a performance, which this is. There may be moments that imitate actual opinions and thoughts, but everything is a goof. We sometimes say things that seem offensive, but we promise they aren't. Remember that we're smoking indoors, so this is a performance and definitely not anything else. Please enjoy responsibly. So, yeah. So, we're sorry to all the women out there. I'm not sexist, honestly. I think men and women are created completely equal. Mm -hmm. And even even transgenders, I think, are pretty pretty equal. So... (laughs) Um, uh, yeah. And, you know, we had a lot of people that were angry. We got a lot of emails from Nitsa, from, uh, Lambda. From a bunch of women on their periods. Yeah. And they were angry. They thought we were being serious. They thought we were, you know, chauvinistic. It's like, hold it, sweetie. You don't understand that we are joking. Do you know what a joke is? Do you need me to mansplain (laughs) the concept of humor to you? Oh, I'm doing it again. So. Yeah, we're sorry. We're yeah. sorry about that. We're we're not. Do you want to apologize for that? What yeah, you I apologize for that. Um, mm-hmm. I just kind of got wrapped up, wrapped up back in the bit. We but. were just trying to, in case you missed that episode, like that's the type of shit we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, we're sorry about that. Um, we're not sorry about uh, you know any of our dealings with icy and any of our threats of litigation. Yeah. We had to bring in Natalie Coldwater, um, you know, to, to threaten litigation. We're not sorry about mm-hmm. that. We had to do what we had to do. And you know what? Like in the end, it, it all worked out for us. Well, I guess it did really didn't, did it? No, it's not at all. No, not at all. They actually ignored us. Um, we're not sorry to Jerry for him oh, being yeah, yeah. terminated. Yeah. Jerry can kiss my ass. He's oh. lucky that he's back. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's barely back. He's he's skating on thin ice, as they say. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I guess probably throughout the year we'll make announcements on people that we're not apologizing to. Yeah, I'm not apologizing for when we had to go on strike because of the viewers. Um, you know, like we we made some simple demands of you, and you chose not to to negotiate with us or meet us in the middle or you know concede to what we ask you so yeah we had to go on strike just like those writers and actors that were being cheated yeah. by by hollywood so and jerry's gonna do what he's gonna do i mean in the in the end even though we can terminate him it's in the contract that we can have him leave and not be a part of the show he does own the ip and the network so he can really have whoever he wants in here at the end of the day but uh, we're not sorry that you had to deal with that because we had to. Sh- that was a show of force from us that we needed. You know, we needed. A, what do we want them to sound off? Is that what it was? Something like that, or, yeah, or like like off. subscribe just yeah. to the general like podcast stuff. And do that now. Go ahead and like subscribe. Let the us know in the comments stuff. if if you have anything you want to apologize to us for because I can think of a few things that you've probably done to us. Yeah, that maybe you should atone for. Mm-hmm. I think that we probably deserve several apologies from some people. Uh, so with that, we want to thank you for joining us on the uh, New Year's Eve special. We'll go and here. We'll do this. Uh, we've got a special musical guest, do we not? Uh, we do have a special, 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 special musical, special guest. musical performance. Oh, there was something else I wanted to do after the performance too. I forgot. We've been playing this lo-fi version of, uh, what's it called? 
Auld Lang Syne. Auld Lang Syne. Mm -hmm. And we want to do a special performance of that for you on the show. And we'll go ahead and give the floor up for that. Yeah? Yeah. Ready? All right. Well. Computer, seeing Auld Lang Syne. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang time? Computer, that was beautiful. You have a lovely singing voice. That was great. Well, you do now because Ty just told you that was great. Um, so that was it. That was our big musical performance. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, now, before we get out of here, we want to do because it's going to be coming out a few days before New Year's Eve. So we want to still be with you on New Year's Eve during yeah, we, the countdown. We're assuming you have no plans for New Year's Eve and you're just going to be like sitting around watching YouTube podcasts and what have you. So we figured we would do the courtesy of providing you with a New Year's countdown. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do now, we'll sign off. Uh, thanks for listening. We love you. See you next have year. Happy, we'll see you next happy New year. year. Yeah, yeah. Right? We'll see you next year. That joke that people yeah. say. Get out of here, 2023. It's 2024 mm -hmm. now. Bye. Okay, now you pause it. And then you come back to this on New Year's, uh, you know, uh, a minute. At 11.59, you press play. You get it all queued up. Mm -hmm. And then you time it perfectly with the... Uh, with you got to sync it. It's like Dark Side of the Moon and uh, Wizard of Oz, you know? And then we will count down with you. So go ahead and pause it now. Ten. Wait, no. Where's it? We got a minute still. Hey, happy new year. We hope that you've been having a great night out there. You've been partying. You've been being safe. Woo! You've been driving, <laughs> driving, uh, driving me crazy, you know? Hopefully you're not drinking and driving because that can get you arrested. Mm -hmm. So don't drink and drive. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of people out, a lot of people drinking, a lot of people driving. If you're one of them, then you have less of a chance of not being in an accident. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, you got to call your insurance. You got to get a guy out to look at it. It's going to be a whole ordeal. Yeah, it's going to be a whole thing. I don't know what your deductible is, but computer, count down from 10. Okay, here's countdown. 10, 9, nine here we go. 8, seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year, year guys. Happy, Happy New, New Year. year. Oh, Happy. Whoops. Happy New Year. It's a new year. It's 2024. <laughs> it's 2024, guys. We did it. It's, we made it. They said that it couldn't be done, and we did it. And, um, man, it's hard to podcast in the future. It's already been a shitty year for me. Yeah, it really has. All right. We love you guys. Natural Habitat Recordings.